Thank you so much for being here today, for watching us from wherever you are. My name is Ashna Sadapati and I'm from Nepal. I'm currently a senior student studying social research and public policy at NYU Abu Dhabi. And I'm also a student intern working with NYU Abu Dhabi's Office of Social Responsibility. I'll be one of your uh, co-moderators for the event today. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Nandini Kocher. I am from India, but I was brought up in Botswana. And I'm also a senior double majoring in film and new media and social research and public policy. I am also a student assistant at NYU Abu Dhabi's Office of Social Responsibility, and I'll be co-moderating this event with Asna. Um, so NYU Abu Dhabi is home to around 850 different contracted colleagues who hail from over 36 different countries. Our colleagues serve our institution in various capacities, such as security and cafeteria staff, facilities management, janitorial staff, and they have collectively served as the backbone of our institution. NYU Abu Dhabi's Office of Social Responsibility offers a comprehensive program of educational opportunities to meet the expressed educational and social needs of our contracted colleagues. Educational programs for NYUAD's contracted colleagues began in 2012 with a pilot in English in the workplace. And over eight years, we've expanded our adult education offerings to a full-scale program that offers 12 certificate courses in an array of subjects, including English in the workplace, Arabic instruction, computer and financial literacy, public speaking, and professional development. Today, as we present five contracted colleagues from the NYUAD community, showcasing a wide range of their talents, we want to recognize that their experiences are just one reflection of the diverse and multi-layered experiences of the migrant population in the UAE and MENA region at large. So we're gonna begin by showing you some of the works of our contracted colleagues, um, and I'll be sharing my screen and going one by one. So first we have a poem um, written and spoken by Harkamal. Hello everyone, my name is Harkamal Singh. I'm working for NYU Abu Dhabi. My poem title is Radhani Pari. And in this poem, I'm going to explain about the situation of girls in India. Har ghar mein hoti hai ek Radhani Pari, ghar ko mahal bana kar rakhti hai Pari. Har ghar mein hoti hai ek Radhani Pari, ghar ko mahal bana kar rakhti hai Pari. साफ सुथरी स्वच्छता की पहचान होती है परी साफ सुथरी स्वच्छता की पहचान होती है परी पर समाज से पता नहीं क्यों डरती है परी हर मोड़ पर अपने आप को ढकती है परी हर मोड़ पर अपने आप को ढकती है परी पर इक्वल शिकार बनी जाती है परी हर घर में होती है रणजी परी घर को महल बना कर रखती है परी हर किसी की रूह कांप जाती है हर किसी की रूह कांप जाती है जब जानवरों की तरह उसकी इज्जत नोची जाती है चीख की चिल्लाती भीख मांगती है परी चीख की चिल्लाती भीख मांगती है परी पर जल्लादों के हाथों दबकर मौन रह जाती है परी भगवान अल्लाह भी यह देखता रहता है भगवान अल्लाह भी यह देखता रहता है मंदिर और मस्जिद में हवस का शिकार होती रहती है परी हर घर में होती है लाड़ली परी घर को महल बना कर रखती है परी इसके बाद भी उसके साथ बद से बदतर बर्ताव किया जाता है इसके बाद भी उसके साथ बद से बदतर बर्ताव किया जाता है उसके अंगों को छत बिछत किया जाता है फिर कहीं किसी रोड के किनारे किसी जंगल या कुएं में फेंक दिया जाता है फिर भी मन नहीं भरा तो फिर भी मन नहीं भरा तो उसे जान से जला दिया जाता है हर घर में होती है लाड़ली परी घर को महल बना कर रखती है परी कानून तो अंधा है कानून तो अंधा है पर इन मंत्रियों का यही धंधा है मासूम सी कली खेलने से पहले तोड़ दी जाती है 
मासूम सी कली खिलने से पहले तोड़ दी जाती है परिवार शिकायत भी किससे करे इसमें मंत्री जी की इज्जत जाती है शिकायत भी कर दी तो परिवार निस्तो नाबूद हो जाएगा शिकायत भी कर दी तो परिवार निस्तो नाबूद हो जाएगा जिसने बलात्कार किया वह फिर से मंत्री बन जाएगा हर घर में होती है लाड़ली परी घर को महल बनाकर रखती है परी तेरा क्या दोष है लाड़ली दो से इन चौकीदारों का तेरा क्या दोष है लाड़ली दो से इन चौकीदारों का जो कुछ नहीं कर पा रहे इन अवस के पुजारियों का जो गिद्ध बनकर नौसते रहते हैं परियों को जो गिद्ध बनकर नौसते रहते हैं परियों को सरकार देखती रहती है इस तिरंगी को कब समझेगी यह निकम्मी सरकार कब समझेगी यह निकम्मी सरकार कब खुलेगा इन परियों के आजादी का द्वार अभी नहीं समझे तो अगला नंबर आपकी लड़ली परी का होगा अभी नहीं समझे तो अगला नंबर आपकी लड़ली परी का होगा पर कब तक शिकार बनती रहेगी लाड़ली परी और कब तक इस शिकारी मानसिकता की बलि चढ़ती रहेगी लाड़ली परी हर घर में होती है लाड़ली परी घर को महल बना कर रखती है परी जय हिंद जय भारत थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दैट एक्सट्रीमली पावरफुल एंड इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट हर कमाल नेक्स्ट अप वी हैव अ सिलेक्शन ऑफ फोटोज टेकन बाय ब्रेंडा बिलाजा हु इज अ डोमेस्टिक वर्कर एट एनवाईयू अबू धाबी I'm Brenda Ibilasa and I came from the Philippines but I'm here in the UAE for United Arab Emirates working as a domestic worker and presently work in New York University Abu Dhabi. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the photos that I collected over the years. The first photos I have is a picture taken in Port Beach during the sunset. during the al hor sign on national day in the uae picture is taken on al dafra where there is a beauty carnival um, festival i took this picture because this is the first time where my son ride on the carnival um this picture is when i when my son first that come on the the UAE and I bring him to the cottage and uh, show him the sunset. This, this one is taken on the Nino Zayed Festival, which man showing how to make the boat. Thank you for those beautiful, beautiful photos, Brenda. You're so talented. Um, next up, we have a song by Bojji. Hi everyone. My name is Bojji Kumar. I'm from India, in Punjab, my birthplace, NYU. And uh, I really appreciate to NYU. How is give me chance? to promote my talent i will singing a hindi song i hope everyone will be like this thank you so much. लगने 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 लग गई है तुमसे मेरी लगने लगी लगने 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 लग गई है तुमसे मेरी लगने लगी आंखें तेरे दर्श को तरसे हो 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 आंखें तेरे दर्श को तरसे याद में तेरी नैनों पर से होटो पे है नाम तेरा सासों में है नाम तेरा ओ मेरा दिल गया 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 लगने 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 लग गई है तुमसे मेरी लगने लगे लगने 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 लग गई है तुमसे मेरी लगने लगे
चांदनी रात में ऐसे खिलता कमल है समुखड़ा तेरा जोगिया चांदनी रात में ऐसे खिलता कमल है समुखड़ा तेरा जोगिया सादगी में कहीं जैसे ताजा गजल है सच है आंखें तेरे दर्स को तरस याद में तेरी नैना बरसे ऑटो पे है नाम तेरा सासों में है नाम तेरा हो मेरा दिल गया 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 लगने लगने लगन लगन लग गई है से मेरी लगने लगे हो लगने 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 लग गई है से मेरी लगने लगे मेरे ख्वाबों में आ धड़कनों में समा आके जलवा दिखा जो लगन 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 लग गई है उनसे मेरी लगन लगे लगन 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 लग गई है उनसे मेरी लगन लगे 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 थैंक यू सो मच अमेजिंग बल जी Wow. Okay. So now we're going to move on to some artwork by Satyam. Hi, my name is Satyam and I'm from Sri Lanka. Um and I'm working here in in New York University at Abu Dhabi since 2014 as a lifeguard. So um um I prefer to spend my free time uh making painting oil painting and acrylic paintings and uh when i make my paintings i choose to do it in a abstract style not uh, more like real realistic paintings um because i think when you looking at uh, an abstract 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 painting um you can uh, see what the what are the paint painters thoughts and you can add your own thoughts to your painting as well so there are many different meanings and many perspectives um you can enjoy that painting this is one of my favorite paintings i call it um a dream walker speaking of this um painting i wanted to um show the audience uh, that there is a wild elephant you can say it's a teenage he's a young elephant um and his mind is filled with wild thoughts and that's why there are variations of color patterns going throughout the image and he's young and he's he's determined when you look at his eye here and you can see that determined look on that image and on or overall uh, the message is wild animals are uh, dangerous especially the wild elephants are dangerous so the dangerous and the curiosity the determined look and uh, the young spirit of an animal that's why i want to show you uh, on this uh, special painting here and i'd like to call it as the the wild elephant Amazing, Satyam. Thank you for sharing your art with us. 
And last, but definitely not the least, we have um, some portrait photography by Tristan. Hi, my name is Tristan Legaspi. I'm 14 and I'm from Philippines. I do portrait photography as well, and I work for ADNH here in Hanoi, Abu Dhabi, and I'll show you my photo works. What interests me most is doing portraiture. I have this interest, deep interest in meeting people as well as taking their photos if they're interested to collab with me. I'm so happy that when I transferred here to UAE from Saudi, when I was working before, I, uh, I've given a chance to meet people in the university and uh, they also uh, gave me some time and spent time with me. I love all my photos, but this is one of the best, in my opinion. I love how the way I shot um, his photo and uh, the, the outcome, the product itself, um, the, the, the saturation and vibrance all together, the, the color temperature is really perfect. And the vision I had came to life. Thank you, Tristan. Um, thank you all of you for um, sharing your talent and art with us. Um, we're now going to move on to the question answer part of our event. Um, so I'm going to hand it over to Ashna to begin the question answers. Like Nandini said, thank you everyone for sharing such amazing talents and such amazing art. Um, so I think my first question is going to be related to the UAE. And I think I'm going to ask you how your time in the UAE has affected the way you produce your art and the process itself. So um, I'll start with Tristan, if you could go first. Hi, Asna. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, yeah, so I am working like six hours a day and during my free time, so during my um, like vacant day, I, I kind of like, um, see myself doing something else and doing something else means my passion which is photography as much as i could i i like book students ahead of time so they are already like um uh informed ahead of time and i'm so lucky that if they would say yes and we can have uh, some spend to get time together and do our stuff like it's having some fun like doing photography that's perfect. Thank you so much. You're um, welcome. Moving on to Baljeet, if you would mind sharing your experience in the UAE and how it has affected your art. Uh, Good afternoon, ma'am. Hi, how are you? I'm all right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. My, my work starting 2011, NYU start. I'm very excited in the NYU, uh, when I joined NYU, learn more thinking. I really appreciate to NYU. 2011, my start work there. Yes. Thank you. Um, so would you want to um, elaborate a little bit how being in the UAE and how Abu Dhabi has helped your singing and your music? Yeah, no, but not uh, India only singing, not here only and by you there. All right, okay. Not the uh, other side. Got it, only, perfect. Only free time, just a uh, rehearsal, uh, not, uh, but uh, well be in the work first, after free time rehearsal and the singing. Perfect, thank you, Valjeet. <laughs> Um, moving on to Sasfiam, if you would want to answer the same question. Yeah, actually, I came here 2000 in 2012, like almost eight years ago, and then I joined with NIU uh, 2014. Uh, once I started there, I had uh, less working hours and uh, more free time to spend. And actually, I, I, I never had a habit of making paintings. But my mom, she was an art teacher. Then uh, I just gave it a go and uh, tried, it, tried it out, how it's going to come out. Um, and then it, I think it worked out so well. Uh, and then I started keep doing the same habit. And now I'm <laughs> here uh, making paintings during my free time. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> thank you for your answer. 
So moving on to Brenda, if you would want to answer the same question. Um, I'm sorry, Brenda, would you mind unmuting yourself? Thank you. Uh, thank you. So my journey to become a photographer, I never dream of this. Since I came here and working as a domestic worker, it's so hard um, finding a time doing doing this kind of stuff. But when I become um, a people of New York University community, I was having an uh, I have an opportunity to to attend the workshop, and I didn't realize that I have a talent doing this kind of stuff and um, I, I never imagined I was I was having this kind of passion and this photography thing welcomed me to the to the world of arts and showing your ability and talent and I'm so happy those people who believes in me and trying to to help me grow and I become I become a little bit famous on the newspapers and having an articles and a lot of things and being a portrait of the nation and the national newspaper it's it's a it's an expected thing for me so having this kind of of experience uh, make my life change thank you that was incredible, Brenda. Thank you so much. Yeah. And moving on to Harkamal, if you would want to answer the same question. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. And uh, I'm basically from India. And uh, in my country, the girls' empowerment is very important. And uh, as we know, we are getting the news every day. And my poem is always dedicated to the girls or the woman empowerment. And most of the poems I write only on the social issues, like... Uh, corruption, rapes, or the, the calamity which is happened in coronavirus because of pandemic. So too much problem in India all over the world. So I write some poems for this corona problem also. So always uh, my thought is just to express the feeling which is happening around us or which is happening around in my society or with my family or culture. So my poems are always dedicated for the society and culture. And mostly I love to write about the girls and about the bovine empowerment. So it can help the country and they are the backbone of the family. So I really say that the girls having the power, they can handle every, everything. And I really thanks everyone that's giving me this opportunity to showcase my poem writing in this program. Thank you. Thank you, Arkamal. That's a very wonderful thought. Um, I think Nandini is going to ask you the second question now. So the second question is, what is the motivation or inspiration behind the art that you do? Um, and I'm going to start with Satpiam. Uh, yeah. Speaking of my motivation, um, I'd say uh, people have different perspectives and looking at things and, uh, and they have different feelings and they would like to express. Some people, they sing, some people, they dance, some people, they act on dramas on television. But uh, in my case, I'd like to draw them. So uh, because when I go out somewhere, when I see something, I see something uh, beautiful, even it, it's not something, but I want to see there is something that I can make it beautiful. So that, that, that was my motivation. Uh, that's why I, I choose to make my paintings more, more, mostly in abstract way so that I can uh, express my feeling. I can make my feeling into a painting and share with the world. And when I started that, and I kind of like it, and I kept doing it. So, yeah, that was the that was my motivation. Thank you, Satya. Um, I'll now go to Brenda. Hello. So for me, the greatest motivation I have in my life is like 
when when I saw people around me, especially the domestic worker, and it keeps me seeing them how life so difficult and how we struggle to face to face a lot of things, especially now nowadays. And uh, one of the motivation also I I in my life is like um, when the people always telling me that you have a capability and you have a talent, why, why, why can't you show it? And those acknowledgement from the people helps me boost my confidence and help me grow as a person. It's life changing. Wow, thank you, Linda. Um, I'm now gonna go to Har Kamal. And I also just want to say for um, those who are Hindi speaking, if you want, you can speak Hindi and I can translate it. Only if you feel like you can speak it easily and easily. Thank you for giving this uh, translation things, but I will speak in English so everyone can understand. So the motivation for me when I see something happening around in society or around us, I can't sleep. That's my problem. I keep thinking about that thing and till that time i didn't uh, put on the paper i cannot sleep properly i keep thinking about that and uh, that's give me motivation when i see something related to the girls or related to some people which they are uh, critical in the condition and they cannot do anything like uh, my poem which is related to the balatkar in hindi or it's in english it's rip and it's a very cruel thing which is happening in society and if you keep thinking about that, you can't sleep. So that's uh, giving me motivation, as I say. So I just uh, take out my thinking or take out my thoughts on the paper and just uh, write it down. So that's uh, giving me motivation. And uh, when I see something, really need to um, tell everyone because some people, they just see and walk away. And that's not my way. If I see it, it will come in my mind and then I cannot sleep or then I will keep thinking about that thing. <laughs> then I just write on my diary and later I will just uh, edit it and make it like a poem. So I just write my thoughts on the diaries. That's it. Thank you so much, Harkamal. I think we need more poets like you. Um, Baljeet, if you could answer that. Or if you want, you can say it in Hindi. Hello. Hello, we can hear you. Thank you. मैं इंडिया से पहले तो बहुत सुना था मैंने बहुत अच्छा मेरा दोस्त था एक बहुत अच्छा गाता था मैं उसको देखे बहुत प्रेस हुआ बहुत अच्छा गा रहा था सूफिया मैं सूफी गाना मुझे पसंद आता है फोक भी थोड़ा गाता हूँ लेकिन सूफी गाना बहुत अच्छा लगता है मुझे बहुत अच्छा गाते थे क्लासिकल गाते थे मुझे बहुत अच्छा मैं उसको देखे मुझे भी शौक मिला उस गाने का लेकिन मेरी फैमिली में कोई गाता नहीं है लेकिन पर मुझे बहुत शौक है गाने का तो फ्री टाइम कभी मिलता है तो मैं हारमोनियम रखा हूँ अपने रूम में भी तो कभी भी थोड़ा गुनगुनाता हूँ थैंक यू सो मच बहुत खूब थैंक यू बलजीत सो जस्ट टू क्विकली ट्रांसलेट बलजीत शेयर दैट नो वन इन हिस्स फैमिली रियली सिंग सो हैज म्यूजिक बैकग्राउंड Um, but he had a friend who would sing Sufi songs very well, as well as classical and folk. Um, and so I think by listening to his friend, he got inspiration to go into singing himself. Um, so shukriya, Viljeet. And finally, Tristan, if you could share with us what's the motivation behind your photography. Thank you so much, Nandini. Uh, so for me, the greatest motivation is just one word, appreciation. Uh, because whenever I do... Uh, photography um, and I could hear people like appreciating my work, this kind of self-fulfillment. Um, and uh, I believe that everyone is born with great talent. Only we could see and find it and nurture it. And then when you put something like you put your heart on doing that passion, you can create something, you can create beautiful things. And uh, uh, that's the best thing that I personally believe that I, bring out best in people. 
Thank you, Nandine. You definitely do, Tristan. Thank you. Um, and I'll hand it over to Ashna for the next question. Um, so thank you, everyone, for answering these questions. It's been really nice listening to your experiences and your stories. Um, so the third question is for all of you, what are your long-term aspirations or your hopes that you want to achieve through your art? So in the long term, what do you want to achieve or what do you hope to achieve through your art? Um, I'll start with Brenda. Sorry, Brenda, if you could unmute yourself. Sorry. Perfect, Sorry. thank you. Um, knew what I'm doing right now and basically I'm dreaming one of these days I want to have my own my own solo exhibition <laughs> as, an, as, a, as a photographer and um, maybe um, this this kind of career or this kind of, of uh, journey it will become like my passion in my daily life. So that's it. Thank you. <laughs> that's perfect. Thank you, Brenda. Um, moving on to Harkamal. Hello, ma'am. Uh, as you can see, uh, as you can, uh, as you're asking about this, uh, that what is my goal in my future related to my poems. So the my goal is that the, the People, when they read the poem, they feel it. My goal is this much. They need to understand the lines, what I want to say and what I want to message the, what I just want to say from my poems or from my lines. And later on, if I got uh, good poems and uh, really number means so many poems in my life, then I will try to publish my book as a poet. That's it. Thank you. Wow, that's truly amazing. And as long as your audience, I can tell you that your poems really do speak to everyone. And I can, I definitely could feel the meaning behind your words. Um, Thank you so much. No, of course. Moving on to Satviam. Hi, yeah. Um, I like to paint more, uh, more and more. And uh, one day when I settled back in Sri Lanka, I wanted to start an art gallery. But uh, before I do that, uh, I'd like to uh, make an exhibition here, uh, somewhere in UAE, if I had enough painting to show everyone. Definitely I'll make uh, everyone to enter free and share their thoughts and uh, enjoy my paintings. Uh, in other hand, I'd like to sell them because having a bunch of painting uh, staying at my room is not, <laughs> it's not worth it. So I'd like to sell them in the future if someone will buy. Uh, yeah, those are my future plans. And I'd like to thank you very much for giving me this opportunity uh, to have and participate in this con concept. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for presenting your art to us. And those sounds like amazing gold. We're all excited and looking forward to your exhibition soon. Um, moving on to Tristan. Well, if I would be blessed to live longer and uh, continue to do this, uh, this kind of stuff like a uh, portraiture. Um, my dream is uh, to, to also like display my own exhibit and like see my, like, see my photos like up in the billboard or something like that. Uh, that would be great for me and uh, uh, it would be like, uh, give me some like pride to my family and uh, what else, maybe an own studio. I'll pay for it. <laughs> Thank you. For sure. We can't wait to see your art on billboards <laughs> and your own studio, Tristan. <laughs> for sure. Um, lastly, Baljeet, if you would want to share your gold. Again, if you're more comfortable in Hindi, I'm sure Nandini will help me translate it again. I have been in this film for 15 years. I have been in this film for 15 years. I so मेरे फैमिली वाला बहुत सपोर्ट कर रहा है मुझे तो बहुत अच्छा सपोर्ट कर रहा है कभी भी बोला नहीं ऐसा बहुत अच्छा सपोर्ट करा दोस्त फैमिली बहुत सपोर्ट करा 15 साल से इसी तरह थैंक यू सो मच 
थैंक यू बलजीत और आप ये बताइए कि इसके बाद आपको क्या करना है अपने सिंगिंग के साथ फ्यूचर में आपको क्या करना है सिंगिंग के साथ मुझे थोड़ा और सीखना चाहिए अगर थोड़ा और सीखेंगे तो और अच्छा होएगा अगर अच्छा होएगा तो फिर उस अच्छा नाम नाम मिलेगा कोई मतलब अपना नाम चमके नाम चम चमकने के चमकाने के लिए तो थोड़ा सीखना जरूरी है जब तक कुछ सीखेंगे नहीं तब तक आगे नहीं बढ़ेंगे तो इसलिए हमें सीखना बहुत जरूरी शुक्रिया बलजीत um so just to translate baljeet shared that he's been singing for the past 15 years um both folk and classical and his family is extremely supportive of him um and his goal is to continue learning and mastering his craft because he believes only if he practices hard will he be able to earn a name for himself so thank you and i guess we're done with this question so i'll move on to our fourth question um If all of you can name one art experience that stands out to you during your time in the UAE, this could be a song that you're very fond of, a photograph, a painting um, that stands out to you in your time in the UAE. I will start with Harkama. Okay, so it's been a uh, three years in UAE, and I really miss my family. So I wrote a few poems related to my mom, mom, and. Uh, I totally dedicated to my mom and my father, and one poem which I recite in uh, social responsibility program also last year, which was on my father. So when I miss someone, I really like to write about them, and then I just uh, want to means I will just write it and send it to my father by the post. So then he will read, he will must be happy. So I just keep thinking about these things, and when I miss someone, I just keep write them. and the poem which i i think most of the poems i write here only because i miss everyone and when i heard something which happened in india about the rapes or about the other things or the social issues i just write it here in my uae only that's it thank you thank you harkamal i'm sure your your parents i must really appreciate the poems you write for them and send them Uh Tristan is there a photograph or photographs that that stand out to you? Hi Andini. Um well you know what to be honest I've never been inside the Louvre. Um I've heard that uh great things are displayed and exhibited inside the Louvre including photos like artifacts or something but the the best thing about the Louvre is the Louvre itself the structure that you can see afar from when we are going and going back and forth and while you are Abu Dhabi and i am looking at this great magnificent structure that is something that wowed me and hopefully i can be inside the louvre and see what inside <laughs> hopefully hopefully thank you thank you for sharing um satpiam is there a painting that you've done that is especially important to you uh yeah actually uh if you remember my video the fourth painting uh, of that video uh, it's a portrait of lord buddha uh, actually that's the first painting that i sell uh, in my life so that is really important to me and uh, it's kind of a turning point because uh, for that painting i almost get my like uh, half of my salary yeah, and she's uh, the one who purchased the painting she's from the campus and uh, she very much liked it and i really happy about that moment so that is yeah one of the uh, most memorable thing uh, happening here with my paintings that's incredible congratulations thank you welcome uh, puljit um kuch gana hai aapka jo aapko especially pasand hai ye aapke dil ke kareeb hai जी जी दिल के करीब वो लगन लगी है बहुत अच्छा गाना मुझे मेरे दिल के पास में रहता है हमेशा तो मुझे गुनगुनाना बहुत अच्छा लगता है एंड ब्रेंडा आई थिंक यू यू द लास्ट वन इज देयर अ फोटोग्राफ दैट इज स्पेशली क्लोज टू योर हार्ट सो आई हैव दिस वन फोटोग्राफ्स इट वाज माय फर्स्ट फोटोग्राफ व्हिच आई जॉइन द फर्स्ट एग्जीबिशन ऑन द आर्ट सेंटर एंड दैट पिक्चर वाज Uh, the first picture that i have i i put in the exhibition one of the person 
broke bought it for a hundred bucks and that's my photography start and it's become my inspiration and I always think about this photograph that makes me who become who, who I am not right now. So I'm I'm happy that um uh, what my photographs was being being hung on the wall of the New York University. And I consider myself as an artist. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Brenda. It's truly a beautiful photograph. I remember seeing it. Um, and I just forgot to translate what Bill Jeet had said. Um, so the song that's very close to his heart is actually what we heard him sing in the video. Um, and he's offered to sing it live after we do our Q&A. So we'll definitely get to that, Baljeet. Um, I think Ashna has one final question for everyone. Um, so my last question for all of you is, have you been able to share your art with other contracted colleagues on campus? And if so, what has their reaction been like? So if I'm talking in Hindi, then you have shared your ये आर्ट अपने दोस्तों के साथ और कॉन्ट्रैक्टेड कॉलीग्स के साथ शेयर की है एंड इफ सो तो उन लोगों का रिस्पांस कैसा है सो आई विल स्टार्ट विद ट्रिस्टिन ओके सो आई हैव दिस फेसबुक पेज व्हिच आई क्रिएटेड इन मई 2010 व्हेन आई वाज इन सऊदी अरेबिया एंड व्हेन आई ट्रांसफर्ड हिम टू द यूएई आई बिगन टू फोटोग्राफ मोर एंड मोर फोटोस mainly uh, for treasure. And uh, some of my friends who are also, my, my colleagues are, are also my friends in Facebook and they would see my creations every now and then. And then they would see them and react to something like, oh, why are you, why are you here? Like, why, why? What's, what's wrong? And uh, you should be like, a, like having your own studio and doing some kind of art like photography. And I was like, no, I'm so happy. To be here, I'm just uh, mastering my craft, and I'm not really that photographer. I am a shutter bug. Uh, I consider myself amateur. So when the time comes and I'm ready to to be my to be myself, like like branded to be a photographer, then that's the time I would see things how it, it will go. But uh, definitely, I am so thankful and grateful for the opportunity and all the praise this well uh, from my colleagues and. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity as well to thank personally uh, Isabella, Isabella Peralta from Singapore. Actually, she made this uh, possible for me to, to join with you guys and thank you for, for, for having me. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing, Tristan. And we're extremely lucky to have you. Um, moving on to Har Kamal, if you would want to share your uh, experience sharing your art with your other colleagues. Um, when I share my few poems, all, almost my all poems are Hindi and most of the colleagues are from India or from Nepal. And when I, when I just uh, say in front of them, or they really like it and they enjoy it. And they say, and you just keep writing it. It's really important that you keep uh, writing on the social issues or the different things which are happening around us. So they really enjoy it. And most of the people, they say, why you are here just to go and publish your book, publish your poems, and they make a fun of me, but they really like it. So that's it happened. And I also love to tell them about my things, my poems, or my other poems, just uh, whenever I remember, or I do say Ser or Sairi also in Hindi. So they really like them and they enjoy it. Even I also enjoy it when I just, found someone who can understand Hindi and who can understand me, I really just uh, say my things to them and they really like it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. You should definitely keep writing and hopefully we'll have a book soon to read. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Moving on to Brenda, if you would like to share your experience. Uh, for me now, being a well-known photographer, <laughs> so not so well known, but well known to the friends' friends. So I becoming more um, hired photographer for the wedding, for the birthday parties, for the models, for events. So it, I think that was my wonderful experience as a photographer. 
um, to acknowledge every little things in the front of you and show them an appreciation and showing that you put your heart on your work. So every time you do it, do it with passion. I think that the best thing that happened to me when people acknowledge your talent. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Brenda. That's great to hear. Um, moving on to Satriam. Yeah, actually the first impression when I share my paintings with my friends, they're asking, what are you doing being a lifeguard? <laughs> you should have been a professional painter. And uh, they're really uh, happy about my talents. And sometimes I'm having, my, having a trouble with explaining my job is a lifeguard, my hobby is a uh, painter. And sometimes uh, uh, my paintings are taken off from the wall before it dried out by my friends because they are really loud it. And I have given them freely uh, without any hesitation because as long as they're happy, so and I'm happy too. So yeah, those kind of experiences I have with my friends and uh, sharing my talents. <laughs> That's amazing. That's really, really nice. Um, lastly, Baljeet, if you would want to share your experience. Again, my Hindi isn't so great, so I'll hand it over to Nandini to translate your response. Experience, so share a lot of my video links. It's very good. My friends are very good. They 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 are very good. अप्रिशिएट स्टूडेंट एन वाई यू में अप्रिशिएट होता है उसमें भी गाना एक दो बार गाया फिर उन्होंने आर्ट सेंटर वालों ने सुनकर मुझे चांस दिया अपना नेशनल डे पे मैं गाना गाया था उधर सोनी धरती अल्लाह रखे कदम कदम आवाज तेरा दिल दिया है जान भी देंगे ए वतन तेरे लिए तो बहुत अच्छा लगता है ऐसा कोई भी मुझे अप्रिशिएट करता है तो थैंक यू फॉर एन Thank you, Har Kamal. So, I'm sorry, thank you, Baljeet. So just to translate what Baljeet said, um, he's shared a lot of his YouTube links of his songs with his friends, and they've been very appreciative and supportive of him. Um, and more, more recently, he also has gotten a lot of support from students, and the Art Center team actually heard his singing um, and invited him to sing at National Day, where he sang a couple of songs. So he's really gotten a lot of support from the community and he's very grateful um, for that. So thank you, Viljeet, we're so grateful to you. Um, and I think that's a wrap on, on our questions. And so this is a perfect segue into asking Viljeet if he would like to sing a short song for us. Ek do minute ka gana, koi bhi ho, um, jo bhi aapke dil ke kareeb ho, hum sunna chayenge, please. लगन 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 लग गई है मेरी लगन लगे लगन 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 लग गई है मेरी लगन लगी आखे तेरे दर्स को दर्शे हो आखी तेरे दर्श को दर्शे याद में तेरी नैनाओ बरसे ओटो पे है नाम तेरा सासों में है नाम तेरा हो मेरा दिल गया 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 लगने 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 लग गई है से मेरी लगने लगे लगने 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 लग गई है से मेरी लगने लगे मेरे खाबों में आए धड़कनों में समा आके जन्मा दिखा दो तेरा मेरे खाबों में आए धड़कनों में समा आके जन्मा दिखा दो दर्श 
सांसों में है नाम तेरा हो मेरा दिल गया 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 लगने 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 लग गई thank you so much thank you very that was incredible bhaji thank you so so much and once again i would like to thank all of our audience for tuning in and watching us from wherever you are and of course a big thank you to our contracted colleagues for participating for being such amazing panelists and for sharing your experiences with us we truly appreciate your time and your talent um so i think this is a wrap on our um event for today from nyu abu dhabi's office of social responsibility we would like to thank global migrant festival a lot for giving us this platform thank you very very much mm-hmm.